what is up you guys thank you so much I don't even know what my intro is <laughs> what is up you guys it's Clissa thank you so much for clicking on today's video so today we have a grocery haul I want to get into it right now because I don't want some of this stuff to melt <sighs> so let's just like dive right in so first off I'm gonna go with um, the meat that I have picked up I got this big thing of chicken breasts. My plan with this, and I did it last week with groceries, is make like a cilantro lime chicken. So I just marinate the chicken in the cilantro paste and lime juice, and then I can put it in like a rice bean bowl or whatever I want to do with it. Um, Kato is staring at me like crazy. <sighs> Anyways, um, but the thing is, Walmart didn't have any cilantro paste, so I had to run to Kroger to get that. Turns out they didn't have any either, but I'll get to that later in the video. The second thing I picked up is two things of this uh, lean ground beef. Now, this one is the 93.7. This is normally the one I go with. Um, I have not tried the, like, sorry, I just had to free up a bunch of space on my phone. Hopefully it worked. If not, there's going to be another cut in here. Anyways, where I left off. So, the last thing that I was talking about was this lean ground beef, 93% um, lean, 7% fat. This is the one that I normally get. Um, that's that. I also got cheese. This is the, um, wow, okay. Uh, reduced fat, Fiesta blend cheese, 80 calories for one third cup. I love this one, so good. Um, otherwise, I also sometimes use mozzarella. Same, 80 calories, 28 grams. Another thing I got two bags of is a shredded lettuce. I put like, this is a bigger bag, but you can put like a huge, just like use this as much as you want. Put it in a bowl with like rice, chicken, beans, salsa, like whatever you want, eggs, I don't know, whatever. It's so filling, so good. Um, the other thing that I got that I'm probably going to eat tonight, honestly, is this Caesar salad kit. I'm not a huge fan of salads. These are pretty high in fat. There's four servings and 180 calories per serving. 14 fat, 9 carb, and 5 grams of protein per serving. But I really like these um, when I'm craving a salad or just like this green like freshness. I really like using these. And you can also lessen the dressing that you put on. You don't have to put the whole thing of dressing on if you don't want to. That will obviously make it a little bit lighter. Or use your own dressing. I don't care. Um, another thing that I got that I was kind of talking about is these a can of black I got like four cans of these they're really cheap um I just kind of drain them a little bit you can also obviously get like the bags and soak them yourself but this is just easiest I think um and I've been making like rice beans chicken salsa the cilantro lime chicken putting it in a bowl with like shredded lettuce and it is so good absolutely amazing so I also got this salsa um salsa is a very low calorie two tablespoons 10 calories so wow there's some kind of like egg tortilla scramble on the back i don't know but you can put this on eggs whatever you want this is an absolutely awesome and i think necessary condiment while trying to stay in a calorie deficit um let's see what else I also got frozen veggies. This is a broccoli cauliflower mix. This is a zucchini blend and some green beans. I these are some of my favorite ones. Um, but what I you can do a lot of different things with them. You could just microwave. They're most of them are like the steamable bags where you just throw them in. You can take them to work, just like microwave them like that. Eating a whole bag. Let's see what is like four servings, thirty five calories per serving. 2 grams of protein, 6 carbs, no fat. Like, if you are hungry, you like to eat a voluminous amount of food. Vegetables. I don't care that they're frozen. They're great frozen. Actually, there's some things that say that they're better frozen. Honestly, whatever's most convenient for you. But I think the convenience is great. Anyways, so I also like throwing those um, in, like, a pasta dish. Throwing them, like, with my rice, rice and chicken bowl. Um, but that can get kind of boring. Um... I don't know, whatever you think. You can also make, like, put them in, like, hide them in other dishes. 
um, super great. Some people put them like in a like egg, like vegetable bowl, whatever, potatoes, whatever. Just put them in a bowl, eat them, they're filling, add some seasoning on them to make them taste great, roast them, whatever you want to do. There's a variety of things you can do with vegetables, but that's a whole other video. This is just a grocery haul. Okay, the next thing I got are these veggie mac and cheese things. Um, I've had this one before and I think they're pretty good. You can tell a little bit like the noodles aren't really noodles, but honestly besides that you can't. So one whole bag is 440 calories and 25 grams of protein. Um, one serving is one cup frozen or half a cup cooked. 170 calories, 10 grams of protein. So I like take, I've most of the time in the past just eaten the whole bag, but if you don't want, if your meal, if 440 is a little bit too much for your meal, because you're having smaller meals throughout the day, you can totally break this up, have it half, a third of it. And I like to take, there's a couple things I like to do with this. One is cook it like this and add a packet of tuna in, so good. You can also add some of the frozen vegetables in there. Um, I'm, what I'm doing this week is I'm going to have a turkey burger with this, going to be great. Um, you can add meat and like put a like pasta, meat, veggies, whatever you want to do, or just eat the whole bag like this. I really don't care. But, um, these are really convenient sodium wise, or it's probably a little high. Yeah. 400 milligrams per serving, but that's a whole other topic. Anyways, I got these very convenient. I like them. I think this tastes very good. I also got, I think, uh, the like routine marinara one or something. I honestly haven't tried that one yet, but those are good. So I got those. Um, what else did I get? I also, ooh, got sugar-free pudding mix. So I didn't really know this existed until I saw some of this on TikTok. They were putting it like Rice Krispies and stuff in like one of these. Um, and they're absolutely amazing. 60 calories for one. I like the vanilla. I also tried the chocolate. You can get whatever you want, but they're just a nice, like, sweet treat to kind of curb that craving and, um, I don't know, like, get you through so you don't feel like you're completely depriving yourself. Um, so yeah, one cup, 60 calories. You can also get, like, the jello ones, but I like the pudding better, so that's that. Um, okay, let's see. I also got Extreme Wellness Wraps the spinach kind um these i'm what i'm gonna do this week with these is for breakfast make eggs and turkey or beef cut up and put it in one of these with like some salsa or something in the morning two of these is 100 calories so that's what i'm gonna do with these i absolutely love them um what else do we have oh yes these babies okay i saw someone on tiktok maybe sure that they have these these are blackened chicken strips from tyson um 20 grams of protein per serving and 110 calories for three ounces so there's seven servings in the bag um one carb and three fat so they're very high in protein i like taking these and throwing them in the air fryer they get super crispy and just oh my gosh absolutely like I just eat these like as a snack, um, but you can do so much with them. Um, I don't even know what, it doesn't have air fryer instructions, but I love just tossing them in the air fryer. I think I do like 370 for like 15 minutes. I don't know. Anyways, I just make sure they're really crispy and they taste absolutely wonderful. Um, dip them in some like fat-free ranch or whatever. Put these in that like mac and cheese stuff. I don't really care what you do with them, but I got these. Um, yeah. What else? Another favorite, so the first time I tried Enlightened was a, actually it doesn't really matter, I don't care. The other thing I got is Enlightened ice cream, will it, I wonder if it will focus, come on, please don't shut the light. Anyways, this ice cream, this flavor is the absolutely, absolute best, best light ice cream flavor. Honestly, I haven't tried many of the other enlightened flavors because I saw brownie cookie dough and those are some of my two favorite things and I absolutely loved it. I tried the like marshmallow peanut butter one the other day from Enlightened. It was pretty good but like this is my favorite and I haven't, I don't really care to try some of the other ones but be careful because when getting these at the store 
you have to make sure that you're getting the light. See right here it says light. Some of the ones like on the top it'll say like keto and it's really like as much or more calories than just like a regular Ben and Jerry's ice cream. It just has not as much carbs. Yeah, whatever keto is. Um, So yeah, but this is very good. I got, they were like three something. Um, Sometimes they're more expensive than that, but Okay, let me try to finish this video out fast before my storage runs out again. Anyways, I was talking about the ice cream. Got that. Um, also got Rice Krispie treats because I'm probably going to start lifting. And these are just like a fun way to eat a treat before lifting. I don't know. Got these. Um, last couple things here quick. A&W Zero Sugar Rep Beer. This is a superior diet soda. It is. It just is. Um, and I also got Gatorade Zero. Um, I've never, wow, I didn't know they made this stuff until Greg Doucette was talking about it and he had one with those, like, squeeze, like, the, those cool tops. I wonder where he gets them from, I don't know. But I got some of these I might have, like, after a workout or something, I don't know. Um, I think that's it. Oh, I also got lime juice for the um, cilantro lime chicken but I couldn't find any cilantro paste at Kroger either like I was talking about so then I was looking in the dip section and oh wait let me talk about one thing first I also got yogurt this is the Oikos triple zero love this kind um, I like the vanilla honestly but this is all I had so I got this um, anyways I found these um, I've heard uh, Kristen Kelfi talk about this like Chipotle one, but this one is a cilantro chili So I was like maybe I could like kind of marinate the chicken in this or like dip it because this is like Kind of awesome to just kind of waste on a marinade, but I don't know. We'll see but you can dip these in like veggies and stuff I don't know. It's 90 calories for two tablespoons, but I really wanted to try it So I had to get it and last two things I also found these apple crisp pop tarts at Walmart. I've never heard of them before. I really wanted to try them. Um, they don't necessarily fit into my diet a whole lot right now just because they're 380 um, and that's a lot for a little food. But I'm definitely going to try them and I'll probably give the rest to my boyfriend. And then I also had to pick up this seafood salad. I honestly don't know calorie wise. Oh, it says it right here. Wow. One cup is 220 calories, eight protein, 18 carb, 12 fat. And I love this. I love seafood. So I had to get it. Um, does it necessarily fit into my diet? I can make it fit, but I know my boyfriend likes it too. So I had to pick it up. Anyways, that should be everything that I got. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and it gave you some ideas of things that you might want to incorporate into your diet, your grocery haul, anything like that. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed it and have a good day, week, whatever you got going on. Peace.